That's like the only thing that I've done that is my idea. Usually I jump on trends that my friends would uh, pick up, such as like yo-yoing and scootering was the one thing that it was my choice to start it. It really started about six or seven years ago when me and my neighbor Devin were uh, scootering on Razor A models and we just started doing tricks on them and we wondered if it was actually a thing. So then we went on the internet and looked it up and found, I think it's Matty Cherivolo's edit. And that edit really kind of launched me into seeing that there actually was a sport behind it. When I started, it was all about learning the tricks, getting the tricks down, learning the basics, like bar spins, tail whips, double whips, heel whips. Now that I've gotten all those tricks in my bag and I, it's kind of really hard to learn a lot of new tricks, I've opened my eyes to more like how to ride parks and how to ride different transitions. I get a lot of my inspiration from just people who are also passionate about the sport and I've just, I've really been more passionate about like being creative and using it as like an art form more than just trying to get better and be better than everyone else. My favorite memory by far was this summer when I got to go down to Woodward and work there as a scooter instructor and I met a lot of people that I've been idolizing forever and I just got to hang out with them and teach little kids how to scooter and show them my, like inspiration and my passion for the sport and then hopefully they can go on and carry on my passion basically. My goal with my riding is just to use it as a release and to be able to meet people. I've used, scootering has brought me all over the US and I'm hoping that eventually it'll get me all over the world.